Alright guys, welcome back to the Skylander Spiral's Adventure. Let's play. My name is Twilight Aegis. In the last episode, we took on Pirate Seas, the third adventure pack of this Let's Play, but one of the first two that I actually got as a kid. And we retrieved the Eternal Earth Source. We took on Crystal Eye Castle to get the Crystal Eye. And of course, we took on the Earth Golem that was the Eternal Earth Source in Stone Town to snag that bad boy. We're going to be heading off with our boy Arbo to the life levels. Who should we start off in Treetop Terrace? I'm actually thinking Eruptor. I'd like to get him some more levels. He's only level 3. As you can see by me wearing the Pikachu hat and the same shirt, I am recording this right after the fourth episode. The forest is in danger. We should go quickly. Are you ready to go quickly now? Pretty sure he says that before the next chapter as well, but... All right, this is another one of my favorite levels in the game. I love Treetop Terrace. I love the music. I love the atmosphere and the visuals. Just honestly, both life levels are really good. Um, I do think Treetop Terrace is a little bit better than Falling Forest, but it's a nice one. It feels good to be in the Tree of Life. I can tell these things. But what happened to the life seeds? They are the children of the great trees. the pointy ears are keeping the seeds for themselves this is not nature's wish we must get the life seeds in order to find the eternal life source all right here's an enemy we don't see very often do i have all the skylanders and spies adventure yes i'm only missing if we exclude minis i'm i'm ac i actually own every skylander Except for Light Core Pop Fizz, Light Core Chill, Light Core Bubble Blast, and Light Core Warnado. And of course, excluding the only mini I have is Barkley, but all the other minis I don't have. I'll get them someday, just I'm not concerned with minis right now at all. But yeah, I have almost every Skylander, which is pretty cool. We will be doing challenges and Skylocks in the future that will use up every Skylander, so. It'd be really cool to have all that variety. But to answer your question, yes, I do. Alright, where are you? There you go. Yeah, an upgrade that would make these lava blobs do more damage would be beautiful. Two? Which ones are you missing? Alright, let's go over here. Let's grab the extra cash. I've also got this little watermelon. Like Spell Punk. Haven't we already found a. Oh, yeah, that was in Pirate Seas, though. I was like, haven't we already seen Life Spell Punks? That was in Pirate Seas. They don't get their proper introduction yet until here. Wow, dude, you missed. That's unfortunate. Okay, I believe Legendary Treasure is going to be up here. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright. Got some cake. Yep, Legendary Treasure time. That'll be some nice gold. Should be 500, right? Beautiful. That was weird. All right, let's keep going. Skylanders of the Light Element are stronger in this zone. All right, I believe it's a treasure chest. Yes. Good money for a raptor. He'll be able to get another upgrade after this. Especially now that we got that other wing sapphire, so now we're at, I believe, a 10% discount. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure in this game they also give 2% for each one, so it's always welcome. Oh, that sucks. Alright, 
got another bench chest over there, and the story scroll over here. The Dro are a little stronger here than they were in the Sky Schooner docks. Which, I guess that's another place I've seen the word Schooner, but it's still in the same game, so it doesn't count. Does not count. Okay. Open that gate up. Let's go ahead and go grab this treasure chest and that hot dog. Okay, Aeroptor is kind of swimming in money now. Let's make sure we share. Share the share the cheddar. But yeah, Wacky Moose. Which uh, which Skylanders? Which two are you missing from this game? Grungalley says, despite claims that the Dro invented balloons, it was actually a Chauncey who came up with the idea. Drinking 200 flasks of fizzy juice, a Chauncey inflated to 20 times its size and floated away, burping like mad. Nice. This game does have really good story scrolls. The Hollow said Dino Rang and Ghost Roaster. Okay. I have heard Ghost Roaster is one of the harder ones to find for this game. Again, when I mean when this game was brand new, I was a kid, so my mom usually did some looking for me. I, I would go to the store and check, but every now and then she would treat me to a new Skylander, maybe every couple of months. She did some of the the harder hunting. I remember I got Ghost Roaster, you know, that that whole adventure pack with Dark Black Crypt and Chop Chop for Easter, actually. That's how I got those, and that was my first undead. Skylander was Chop 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 and Ghost Roaster. So I did not have a, an undead character for the first four to four and a half months of the game's lifespan. Yo, Snowpuff, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Another air element zone, by the way. It's nuts. This game still has so many of them. What's my favorite Skylanders game? It's very hard for me to choose between Giants and Spyro's Adventure. Recently, I've said it, it, it's gone back to Spyro's Adventure, but I was thinking about it yesterday. I still think my favorite game is Giants, but, like, barely. I still think Giants is my favorite Skylander game. But Spyro's Adventure is an incredibly close second. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to saying Giants is my favorite. All right, who's going to make a cameo today? For the Magic Gates, we have Boy Voodoo, another one of my original nine. First time seeing him here for this let's play. Alright, there's Gilgrunt's Soul Gem. So we'll go ahead and just grab that. Oh, also, sorry, Cool Kid, I read your comment in my mind and it read out loud. If they ever make another Skylanders game, you want it to have an online battle mode and it would become an esports. That would be interesting. I do not think it would become a new sport. But hey, I would be down though. Yo, Snow Puff, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. That brings us to 11 followers until we hit our next goal of 275 follows. And when we do, five more emotes will be available to you guys. Five more. Isn't that crazy? But again, thank you so much, Snow Puff, for that follow. Much appreciated. Right, come here. I can return that question. What is your favorite Skylanders game? But I'll say my order goes Giant, Spyro's Adventure, Trap Team, Swap Force. I don't know. When it comes to the game itself, I'll say Superchargers, Imaginators. I like the, the characters, the, uh, the, the Senseis and the Imaginators more than a lot of the Superchargers when it comes to characters you can play as, but the story is way, way better in Superchargers than Imaginators. Imaginators' story is horrible. 11 more. That is very good. Did I say 12 by accident? If I did, I meant to say 11. Oh my gosh, wait, did I just miss that hat? Did I literally just walk past it? Wait a minute, that's a problem. 
Hold on. Wait a minute. I did. What is wrong with me? This is what I get for commentating. This is what I get for trying to provide entertainment. You love Giants because the story and gameplay is good? Yeah, Giants is just great. I like the story for both quite a bit, but... I mean, I mean, there are so many characters I love that get introduced in Giants as well. So, yeah. Like, Pop Fizz. Love Pop Fizz. I love all the Giants. Just, oh, it's such a good game. It is such a good game. We got the Moose Hat. And also, some of my favorite levels of all time are in Giants. Some of my favorite ones are also in this game, like Treetop Terrace, which we're currently playing. Archean Armory's there. Crystal Eye Castle. But in Giants, you've got Drill X's Big Rig. Mulkin Mountain's a really good one. As a kid, I loved the Oracle. Rumble Town is also one I love. The Tree Rex is iconic. I love Tree Rex. He's great. Tree Rex is great indeed. Skylanders of the air. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna be. I thought there was a treasure chest in there for some reason. Anyways, Voodoo, we appreciate your service. Um, I could put Spyro on the portal. We'll use Spyro a little bit more. I mean, he's level 5, which is fine. I just want him to get a little bit more money. But Eruptor's got plenty of money, so... I'll try to spread the level on him a little bit. Okay, but Spyro's definitely doing better now that he's got the triple flame ball. It's always a neat little section. Just destroys all of them. Oh, that was bad timing. Who is my best Skylander? Do you mean, like, who do I think is the best? Like, most powerful? Is that the question? Or who is, like, my favorite? Because earlier someone asked who my favorite was, and that goes to Eruptor. Who I think is the most powerful? There's a lot of contenders. Stealth Elf is up there. Drobot is definitely up there. Drobot can just solo some bosses. I mean, Drobot easily solos the boss in this game. Like, no problem. Those are the first two I think about when it comes to crazy powerful Skylanders. Those are the first two that I, that I think about just immediately. They are crazy. Double Trouble is another one that will come to mind. Double Trouble can also probably easily do it. I'll have to refund those core crystals back to you for the Choose of Skylander. We currently can't do that for this Let's Play because I'm using one Skylander for each element for the gameplay. I can refund those channel points back to you and I can do that after this episode. But I do apologize. That is usually for chill Skylanders videos. Well, I mean, not videos. Streams where we're kind of just playing through the games and I take viewer requests. But for this YouTube Let's Play... Excluding when we use elemental zones, that's kind of how I show off some other characters for the Let's Play. We are using uh, Spyro, Terrapin, Whamshell, Eruptor, Boomer, Chop Chop, and Lightning Rod and Camo. Those are the uh, eight Skylanders that I chose. I'll make sure to get those core crystals back to you though, so you can use those for something else. Let's grab that pizza. Okay, Spyro's kind of doing fine now. We'll just switch him off. I just wanted to give him a little bit of extra stuff. Let's use... Whamshell could use a little bit. Love the Pikachu hat. Thank you. I love this hat. I got it for like 20 bucks. I don't remember if it was 20 or 25. I got it at a mall. I randomly just saw it and I was like, ooh, I'll take that, please. It's actually... So I actually do have a collection of hats. Um, I don't have them all with me at the current moment. I'll have them all back with me when I move back to school. Um, but you guys can actually redeem which hat I wear on stream. Possibly 500 core crystals. I've got a couple of them next to me. That is something that you can redeem at the current moment. I've got a couple next to me. I've got the Vacation Fedora, my Pikachu hat, my Squid hat, my Fire Mario hat. Those are the ones I have, like, right next to me. Okay, bye. Hey, I'll take a level up. Pikachu hat is goaded. It's great, isn't it? Time for the jug. Time to hydrate, gamers. Time to hydrate, indeed. Yeah, this is one of my favorite hats that I have, though. I will say, I am planning on... Um, I was going to get some more hats 
while I was home, but I just, I haven't. I put my, my gaming money towards other stuff. But um, I do plan on getting a couple hats when I go back to school. I do plan on getting a, a couple more hats to add to our roster for streams um, when I move back to school in January. No guarantee I'm going to get them in January, but I know the next three hats I want to get. Um, and I plan on making that a little bit more of a priority for you guys as I move back to school. Of course, as long as the funds provide, because I will again be living on my own, like completely on my own, so I will have some other expenses that will, I'll have to keep in mind. But as long as I'm able to do so financially, I know the next three hands that I'm going to be getting. Lights, maybe? I hope so. I hope I can bring back the background lights so you guys can choose the, those colors as well. What are you doing over there? Okay, I guess I was kind of stuck there. What are you gonna do all by yourself? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Nice. Yeah, I also hope to bring back those background lights. Because unfortunately, I can't put them up here. So. But every time you take them down, you basically gotta buy new ones. Because the, uh, the sticky adhesive on the back kind of gets ruined when you just take them down. So. <laughs> You've done it! Great legend of Skylands come to life! <laughs> you have found life's seed, and nature rejoices! We shall spread their happiness to the core of life! And watch them grow. What a good level. Did you have thought of replaying Giants on your Xbox? You should do that. That's a great game. We will be left playing through all, all six games. So when we're done with Spider's Adventure, we'll just move down the line. I'm hoping to get the, the let's plays of all six games up by the end of the year. We've got basically two and a half months. And hopefully by next week we'll finish Spire's Adventure. Saying those sheep are evil. Evil, I tell you. These seeds we brought back have grown into these wonderful apple bushes. Shoo! But these sheep are eating all the apples. Could you please keep the sheep away long enough for the apples to grow? Oh boy. Then the roots will be strong enough to speak to me. You have supercharged but never liked it. I think it's okay. Um, I like the visuals for it. I think the Skylanders, they're, they're fun, but they're somewhat, like, I don't enjoy them as much as other games. Like, I really like High Volt. Now you need to back off. I really like Splat. I really like High Volt. There, there are some superchargers I have barely played. I have not played all of, like, all of those characters to an extensive amount. No! Why do they make you get 15? Um... So like, but I know I played Splat and High Volt quite a bit, and I do like them. I do like them. Um, I've played Dive Plops a good amount. I think he's fun. Um, I, I like Deep Dive Gil Grunt. I recently got um, Double Dare Trigger Happy. These things suck. You know who'd be good at this? Boomer. I recently got Double Dare Trigger Happy like back in like July. Haven't really, haven't used him yet, but I, I I do have every supercharger and every vehicle. I got him and I got the gold rusher. Uh, what was that? Okay, give me this. Alright. I'm hoping that this... Hey, I couldn't even see you in that tree, bro. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other characters. I've, I've, I've barely played Fiesta. I played Spitfire just a little bit. And I played Lava Lance Eruptor just a little bit. I haven't played Smash Hit or... Uh, what was it? What's the, what's the name of the Supercharger version of Terrapin? Don't remember. But I haven't played him very much. I played... Bone Bash Roller Brawl just a little bit. I played Bowser a decent amount. I played Donkey Kong a decent amount. I think I played Bowser more than Donkey Kong, actually. Um, that's 10. Back off. 
Back off. I, I haven't played Stealth Shot, Stealth Elf. Or is it Sure Shot, Stealth Elf? Oh, whichever one it is. Haven't played her very much. I played Thrillipede just a little bit. Um, then I played Hurricane Jetpack a little bit. And I've played a good amount of Stormblade. She's crazy. Stormblade is going to be such a powerful character for future Skylocks. She's going to be right up there with Double Trouble. Stealth Elf. I mean, Strobot. Popthorn. Popthorn's also pretty crazy. Splendid! The eternal life source is hidden inside a giant acorn within the tree of life. I know where to find it because the seeds tell me things. Oh, I feel strange now. The forest is in danger. We should go quickly. Are you ready to go quickly now? There's that line again. Oh. I understand your decision, great legend of Skylands come to life. I suppose we can hold on for a little while. I just need to upgrade, bro. That's all I gotta do. I just gotta go get some upgrades. Although Boomer doesn't need any. Alright, I'm a little behind on some chat messages. You need to get Weed Giant so you can restart your Imaginators. I actually didn't realize you could do that on the on the, the Wii version of that. I ended up buying the three uh not the 360, the 3DS version of Spyro's Adventure for that, because um the 3DS portal will also do that. I literally bought that starter pack just so I could reset my uh, Imaginators. Because I do have one creation crystal for each element. I don't think... So. No, Spyro probably can get the last upgrade he needs. Yes, he can. Can perform, perform charge attack for increased distance. You never thought you'd find someone playing Skylanders again. I do get that quite a bit when I play it on Twitch. I mean, it's a series I really enjoy, and I think doing challenges for it um, is super fun and breathes new life into the games for me. So, I mean, I, I love doing Skylanders content. All right, Blitz Spyro is eh, not my favorite. Sheep Burner Spyro. This is, where we're, this is where we go. Skylanders games are hidden gems. I agree. Every Skylanders game is being sold for over $200 now. Really? Well, okay. I, I mean, I got, no, that's not true, though. No, that's not necessarily true. It might depend on the system, because I got, like, early this year, I think January, I got the Wii U version of Swap Force for, like, $10. Oh, being sold by Activision. Really? 3DS version similar to normal? Uh, not necessarily. There's actually, like, different levels, different characters. Not, like, different Skylanders, but, like, some different NPCs. And there's, um, there's just a lot of different things, actually. I don't think Wham Shell can get anything. Eruptor definitely can. I did not. Activision is really doing that? That's kind of insane. I did not know that. Eruptor's a little behind on levels. Hopefully he'll get up there soon. Alright, let's grab the magma balls. Although I believe we can also get Eruptor on his path. Oh yeah, we can skip that now. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, Lava Blob is larger and does more damage. Beautiful. Love to see that. Okay. So there's Magmantor. Further develop the Lava Blobs and the Magma Balls. Or the Volcano. Which this is the one I love. I love the Eruption Attack. It, th this is one of the main reasons Eruptor is my favorite character. I just, I saw this attack uh, when the game came out and I was like, I really need this character. Like, I just, I need this character. Because this attack, I, just, I don't, I love that attack so much. I just, I do. And this one's good too. I'm honestly not a big fan of the magma balls. I like never use these at all. I think it's just better to do this. But I love the eruption attack. And this attack gets crazy when you choose the path for it. Alright, we shall be heading into the falling forest now. I kind of want to lead Eruptor, only because he's level 4, but let's check on some other characters. Camo's already guaranteed to get played. You know what, Boomer could, oh well, we're going to be going into the tech levels after, so Boomer's already going to get played in the next episode quite a bit, so maybe we'll hold off on Boomer. Um, Whamshell, honest, you know what, Whamshell could use some money. We're going to start with Whamshell, because he doesn't have many upgrades, but he is level 5. But he needs some money, so. The forest is in danger. We should go quickly. Are you ready to go quickly now? An acorn? 
I knew it! Curse that miserable, deceitful tree! They're hiding my acorn! You have acorns? Nonsense, fool! It's simple. The eternal life source is actually a giant acorn! See? And it's being hidden in a filthy forest by a band of despicable, bark-covered betrayers who are obviously out to get me! The tree? Of course, the tree! What do you think I'm talking about? Oh, how I hate them! Standing there all day, looking so innocent, soaking up sunlight, plodding and scheming, just waiting to meddle in my plans! Well, not this time, Johnson. Not this time! Call out my lumberjack trolls! A what? To cut down a few trees? No, not a few trees, you noob. Cut them all down! I want that acorn! Why did Chaos need to be so mean to Glumshanks? I think it's just to make him seem more evil, because on his own, he doesn't sometimes. Although I do love Chaos and Glumshanks. I actually like them both quite a bit. Also, goaded song. Those terrible trolls are attacking the great ancients with teeth machines. Oh, this is the most horrible feeling I have ever had in my brief existence so far. We must stop them from cutting any more down or discovering the eternal life source. All right. Skylanders of the Tech Elder are stronger in this zone. I'm going to jump down here real quick. And this legendary treasure always looks pretty cool. It's a golden acorn. This is going to get Whamish all that money I wanted to get him, actually. So, we might pass the mantle off. I mean, he's level 5, um, which isn't bad. But there are some characters that are at lower level. I know Boomer is, but again, Boomer is going to get the experience that he needs in the next episode. Okay. Whamishell's doing pretty well right now. So we're actually probably going to go back to Eruptor. I want Eruptor to get to level 5. So we'll probably let Eruptor get to level 5. And then we'll see who we play after. Maybe we'll just do Camo for the rest of the level. Because uh, it's been a while since we've used Camo. He's probably like level 2 or 3. Is my guess. So we'll probably use Camo for the rest of the level after Eruptor levels up. I think it only, yeah, it only takes six. We can technically keep two of these rockets on us, but, like, there's really no need for that. But we can. We can take them with as a little souvenir. Okay. And I was looking for future Let's Plays. Um, I already have the team for Giants picked out. But starting with Swap Force, I won't let you guys, uh choose every character, but I might let you guys vote on one or two of the characters that we do get to choose. I mean, sorry, that we do get to play as. Um, for some of the upcoming Let's Plays that we'll do for YouTube. So I'm still going to think about maybe which elements I'll let you guys vote for. But um, it'd always be nice to get a little bit more viewer interaction in, you know? Also, let's not walk past this. This is Stealth Elf Soul Gem. I used to always, for some reason, think that bounce pad would lead us to the next area when it wouldn't, and I would miss this. Let's not miss this. All right. So anyways, it's always good to get a little bit more viewer interaction, in my opinion. I think it's very important. So yeah, if that interests you guys, make sure to tune in. Maybe at, like, the end of Giants, you know, I'll, I'll say, okay, for, I'm thinking only one or two elements. Because I want to get, like, every kind of, I guess, character represented. So, if, like, for example, for Giants, we'll have Giants, we'll have some of the new cores, but we'll also have a light core shown off, so we can show that off. And um, we'll probably have a Series 2 character shown off as well, which will mean a character that originated in this game will probably be uh, played in Giants. Go 
bounce up here. Oh, or not. Okay. Let's keep moving on. And yeah, we'll get to level 5 pretty soon. This isn't the longest level in the world. The life levels aren't crazy long, but they're good ones. Like I mentioned, I really like them. But this will probably be one of the shorter episodes in Spire's Adventure. Also, we're not tackling a uh, adventure pack, so that also kind of kind of leads into that. Grab the melon. I believe up here is the story scroll that hinted towards giants. Yep. I still remember the day giants got revealed. Oh my gosh, my my child self was so excited. What is my favorite Skylander? We're playing as a Today, Raptor. There are dozens of brave Skylanders, and in the past, hundreds more. But the most powerful of all Skylanders were the Elder Elementals. These giants possessed powers of light and darkness within their flesh. No one has seen an Elder Elemental in centuries. But there are rumors that they will return someday. Your favorite's Eyebrawl? Nice. I do know he's a fan favorite. People like Eyebrawl quite a bit. And I love his design, and I think he's fun. However, he's actually one of my least favorite giants. I still love the character. But um, when it comes to just the eight giants, he's actually one of my least favorites. Only because I enjoy playing as some of the other ones more. That's the only thing about it. I love his design, though. Eyebrawl's design is... He just looks awesome, honestly. He has one of the coolest designs. I wish he had Pumpkin Eyebrawl. I don't have that one. I'm not a big fan of variants. I just, I don't have... There are only two variants I genuinely, like, think would be cool to have. And that's Granite Crusher and Nitro Magnet Charge. I think those actually look really cool. But I'm not, I don't really go out of my way for variants. Do I prefer Bob has a TikTok? Really? Interesting. The eyebrow's still really cool. Yeah. I mean, he, and he is fun to play. Like I said, I just happen to prefer some um some other ones. Some of the other giants. We'll have Bash make a little, little cameo here. Did we use Bash for the first Earth Gate, or was that Dino Ring? I don't remember. But next Earth Gate we get to, we'll make sure we use Dino Ring, just in case. Water's your favorite? Ah, uh, so Thumpback. Thumpback is actually one of my favorites as well. Um, I love Thumpback. I love Thumpback. He is great. But my favorite giant is Swarm, actually. I, I, I think Swarm is so fun. I love his personality. I think he's just... Yeah, I, just, I think he's fun. I love Swarm. Prerex is up there as well. Thumpback is up there in Hothead. I'd say those are my top four. You're looking at the voice for Bob Twitter and they show a TikTok page. Interesting. And then, let me think, because then you've got Ninjini, Bouncer, Eye Brawl, and, uh, oh my gosh, I made a wrong play. I didn't go grab this one. Hold on, so we're wanting to drop down. Okay. I not own oh, Crusher. I would say I think Swarm's my favorite. And then it's either Tree Rex or Thumpback. Oh, that's difficult. That's difficult. Um I think I'm gonna give it to Thumpback. So I'll say my second favorite's Thumpback. And then probably Tree Rex. I don't know actually. It might be Hothead. I love Hothead. So, I love Tree Rex, but however, I think Hothead is just super unique and fun. So, I'm gonna say Swarm, Thumpback, Hothead, Tree Rex, Crusher. I like Bouncer, but recently I started to really enjoy playing as Ninjini. Oh, that's difficult. I don't know what I would have ordered Ninjini, Bouncer, and Eyebrawl. 
because out of all the designs, I think Eyebrawl has the coolest design. But Ninjini, I've been really enjoying playing as recently, like I said. And as a, I mean, as a kid, I loved playing Bouncer. I still do, and I love Bouncer's personality. That's difficult. Right, this is gonna go to Terrafin. They apparently worked on a new Overwatch hero. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that goes Seraphin, however, we won't be playing as him. We're still trying to get a rep through level five. Oh wait, he is level five. Okay, he he got to level five. I totally probably wasn't paying attention. All right, camo, camo will lead us through the rest of this level, and he's level three. Good to know. He will definitely level up. So he'll at least get to level four. We should also probably give him some playtime in the next episode. Because now he's probably the way the furthest behind in terms of levels. And upgrades, maybe? Well, I don't know. Whamshaw, I think, has only gotten one upgrade. Camo's, Camo's gotten at least two. I think Camo's gotten two. Okay. There we go. A little treasure chest. Yeah, we like we're literally almost done with the level already. So Camo will get that level up. Um, yeah, we played as Eruptor just a little too much, but that's okay. You must find rockets to destroy the big chainsaws, Portal Master. I kind of wish Eon also called them Teeth Machines. Personally, I actually do like Arbo. He's not my favorite. He's not on terms of T-Bone. Or, or my boy Gurglefin, but I do like Arbo. Well, I do know some people don't. Alright. Okay, I didn't mean to grab more. Right, let's clear the mushrooms. Okay, that's fine. Now we do have projectiles as camo. That definitely will help up here. Because if you can't tell, this looks like an arena. What do you do in arenas? I think you fight in arenas. You again, foolish portal master imposter. Wait. Portal Foster. <laughs> I like the sound of that. But you are still doomed! Doomed, I tell you! You will never possess the eternal light source! Never! You faced my powerful evil light minion. Now I will laugh when it both powerfully and evilly ends yours. <laughs> Go on! Get on with it. Since I normally skip a lot of this dialogue, it's been a long time since I listened through it. I do not remember any of that. Alright, we're fighting an evil Zook. Time for the jug. Oh man, we gotta hydrate. I'll do that when I get a second. It might have to be after this level. Right, I got time. Right, that's a nice level up. There we go. Hopefully you can at least get halfway to level 5. Forget the light minion. You won't be fit, because I, Lord, summon my unbeatable deadly light spell of death. Ironic that it's called a life spell of death. Even though, like, this version of it is not difficult. Especially if you have projectiles. Now, if you're using stump smash, maybe it'd be a little bit more difficult. Or stealth elf. 
It wouldn't be. It still wouldn't be that bad at all. But if you're using Zook camo, no problem. And I mean, Sun Smash still has a projectile. That was it, bro. Stop! You can dodge a few things you can see. Red steel. What about things you can't? Knock knock. Too late. Dodge that. Yeah, she doesn't actually do any up close attacks. They probably thought that maybe that'd be too difficult. So she just does this. Not that difficult at all, actually. Yeah, that's alright. I have something even more evil in mind. More evil and unbeatable than ever before. I summon my totally unbeatable, deadly evil light spell of ultimate death. crazy. Whisper Rob are working on a new game and some people are saying it's either Crash 5 or a new Skylanders. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a Skylanders 7. I don't think Toys for Life is really that big of a thing anymore. Amiibo, I mean, still definitely makes sales, but I feel like it's more for the collectible aspect and not the actual, like, their use. You totally beat my totally unbeatable deadly evil lifestyle of ultimate death. Uh, I mean, never mind. It's a How dare you use blind luck against me? I don't, uh, I don't like that joke. Even if you can't see, I think it's very unnecessary. So watch it be exclusive to Xbox? I don't think they do that because, from my experience, I feel like a lot of younger gamers have a Nintendo. I mean, some definitely will have, like, Xbox and PlayStation, but I, I, I think a large amount has Nintendo. So I, I really don't think the move would be to to do that. But also, like, I don't have an Xbox One, or I don't have an Xbox Series X. I have a 360, and I haven't played it in a while. Um, I'm much more of a PlayStation person over Xbox. If there was a Skylander 7, I mean, would it get me to buy a console? Maybe someday, only because I do love the series, and I mean, I want a complete collection for the series. But, like, that's just not the play. It's really not the play. Considering the, the generation that Skylanders is kind of aimed towards, I really don't think it's the right move. Stupid, deceitful trees! I hate them! I hate them! Even the evil ones! Arrgh. Obviously, I had slightly underestimated you. It won't happen again! I call upon my most powerful and evil light spell of all. So powerful, I dare not speak its name. I summon Curious Dragon. Too bad! Behold! Alright, I would just walk around for a little bit. We also get tiny bits of experience if we destroy those red snails. Wow, I actually got hit. That's unfortunate. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Like minions. All at once, make this imposter sorry he ever heard the glorious name of Chaos Attack! Knock, knock. Look out, that's 
Alright, will this get us to... I don't think it's gonna get us to level 5, but it might be close. Although, Camo is doing pretty good damage. But we'll have to see... Ooh, it might, like, barely not. We'll be close. Watermelon spinning in the distance. And there we go. Yeah, that took us what, like maybe an extra fifty minutes? I hear this is the gonna be a shorter episode. Is growing and the core of light is not yet complete. But now you bring the eternal life source, whose true power lies within. What a remarkable creation. We are all remarkable creations. Some more remarkable than others. Like me. Boom! Four down, four to go. We must find the remaining eternal sources before they fall into Chaos's hands. Situation report. Who's in charge here? In charge? Why, I'm in charge. Of the ladies, that is. Believe it. Go with a flabberjabber, son. I'm looking for a Skylander. Ah, excellent. I am General Robot, and we've got a fluster cup of a situation. It seems the trolls are keeping something unknown in a heavily guarded warehouse. Skyland's intel believes that it's some sort of gear that may have originated from this here location. That's not just any gear. It's a golden gear. The golden gear. We need it to rebuild the core of light. Hmm. This is even more serious than I expected. You see, the enemy is crafty and has the advantage. Uh, temporarily, of course. And we do not at this time have the firepower to evac said gear to a safe location behind our lines to reconnoiter. We need your help, soldier. Can I count on you? Nope. Yes. Yes, perhaps you're right. Meet me back here after you resupply. That's actually exactly what we need to do. At least he's understanding. Alright. We got some upgrading to do, oh, and that's going to finish off this off. episode. Okay. So we can get his, the melon fountain, but let's get the faster firecracker vines and I guess the longer distance because we can afford it. Alright, we can skip this. There we go. We also used Eruptor. We'll check. Eruptor. Okay. No, he's on his path, so he can't he can't get, get anything. And then William Shell? He definitely can. Alright. Starfish attack has increased damage. Yep, that's fine. More powerful projectile. That's always a nice thing. Yeah, I don't know why I try to wait for that every time. And is it time for his path? So we can either get the Captain Crustacean for the developed skills with the mace, or Commander Crab for the developed the Starfish. I'm going to go ahead and develop more mace skills. 
Alright. There we go. I think everyone's pretty close to level 5. Whamshell is. Eruptor is. Camo is. I think Boomer's level 4, but that's going to change very soon. Don't remember what Lightning Rod's at. Terrapin's around there as well. But everyone's pretty close to each other in terms of all of that. We will be heading off into the tech level. Some very fun levels I believe are pretty filled with experience in the next episode. So in this one, we took care of Treetop Terrace and Falling Forest, and we retrieved that Eternal Life Source. Excluding Adventure Packs, this is basically halfway through the game. But I'll say we're a little over halfway since we've completed three out of the four Adventure Packs. So in the next level, we will be taking out the three tech levels. That's it for me, guys. Make sure to follow us on Twitch. We're now 11 followers away from hitting our next goal. Where five more emotes can be dropped. Also join that Discord. It'll be in the description of the video as well. I will see you all in the next episode. That's it from me. Peace.